And this one is from Azul, and this is the Access 4 Pro. These things are incredibly energy efficient. I'm using a Logitech keyboard with a USB dongle, but it's got a USB port right there. Micro SD slot, which is gonna be important because guess what, you ain't got a lot of storage on this thing. A power button inconveniently placed right here because I have hit it a couple times when I try to grab it. I'm learning my lesson here. On this side, you're gonna have a super speed USB type C. You've got a headphone headset combination jack here, a gigabit ethernet, and a wireless antenna here. So that's the access for, this is the Alder Lake CPU. Now I am using my benchmarking account on purpose. So there's the task manager. This is the Alder Lake N100 CPU. You're like, okay, what's an N100 CPU? It is a very, very low power CPU. It is four core and four thread. There's no hyper threading going on here. So there you can see, so four logical cores, uh, four threads, it is at point 881 gigahertz speed. It'll actually go faster than that. So it will boost up if it needs to. This has got eight gigs of memory and disk space on this one is 128. So you're not gonna be downloading the latest version of all your fancy games. You got 115 formatted. By the time you throw a couple things on there, you don't have a ton of capacity. You know, in general, mini PCs like this would be excellent for several things. One, digital signage. This one might be a little bit more powerful than you need for that. It is small enough and it plugs in. Uh, home theater PC, this thing's great because it's going to have AV1 decoding in this chip, which is pretty cool, so it's going to have that capability into it. It's going to have quick sync for video encode and decode in the chip, so if you want to do something cool with it, potentially maybe have it as a Plex client for your home theater, or maybe you've got a really big external drive and you want it to be a Plex server, you can do that. So the ways they're doing it right. One, it's a completely legal and licensed copy of Windows. I'm gonna show you how to check that in a second. Second, there's no bloatware on it, which is great. Third, there's an antivirus program. Speaking of power draw, it's running off of this power brick way over here in the corner. And this is only 12 volts, two amps. That's 24 watts. A Little bit bigger than maybe a stack of gum, but it does get hot. So this is not something you wanna be holding in your hand all the time. Um, and that's a warning sticker. So you can actually stream games from another PC on the network to this mini PC. And you're basically using it as a video console. This one kicked off the game. This is my super fancy expensive gaming machine. This is the super small mini PC. And if I come back into the mini PC, I can literally remote play this game. So this machine doesn't have to be fast, but you could essentially use this as a cloud gaming machine and play off of the other machines in your network here. This one can be mounted to the back of a monitor as well. And it can even play back 4K video. So like I said, the video chops on this thing pretty impressive slmgr software licensing manager dvl verbose licensing information about your windows windows operating system retail channel this is the full legit windows 11 retail edition that's on here so this machine actually includes a retail copy of windows 11 with it so it is an authentic genuine copy that's licensed directly to you now here's the only problem about not having a lot of thermal surface area uh, 1961, that's the multi-core score on this. So the four cores going all together, just around 2000. Now this is an interesting thing. This is the same Cinebench, but running the single threaded score. Now up here, it's got an 854 for a single core. So this is the thermal footprint of it, 138 degrees. So it gets warm, 140 degrees. Highest I saw in testing was 150 degrees. So that was the Access 4, very interesting product if you're